Welcome to Enchanted Tarot. This is for the sign of Virgo. It is a general reading. That being said, it may or may not resonate with you. If it doesn't sound like it's your story, check your other placements. Your messages could be there. So somebody is really thinking about you and about an ending or the way something ended and about their part in that. <clears throat> So they, in, in part, most likely feel uh, responsible for the way it went. This was, uh, this was, uh, it's like a, a, a conversation that escalated and nobody could agree, it went out of control, um, Things were said, and uh, it's like you went your separate ways. Somebody is being really honest about with themselves, you know, uh, about that situation. I feel like, although it feels or felt really final in the moment, this person wants to uh, uh, to return it to peace uh, or to to make a peace offering. Um, <clears throat> what we have here is this uh, Five of Staves. And uh, the Five of Staves is about struggle, conflicts, arguments. So uh, I feel that what began as uh, two people uh, perhaps reconciling, this could have been about reconciliation, uh, or simply working together as a team in or within a relationship, it just kind of escalated and blew out of control. On that, we have the Eight of Swords, so... I feel this person's head is bandaged. Their heart is uh, also bandaged. Um, it, it could be that they were not really willing to see or were not seeing uh, the other person's side. It feels like there were they were questioning uh, or not believing uh this person or their story they may have learned something that made them doubtful that made them question somebody's story we have them here questioning this person's story being overwhelmed by some negative thoughts because of something they learned now it's like they didn't know uh, which way to go, whether to get on board. Uh, what happened was this kind of escalated here. This is all part of the same picture, I feel. In fact, because, you know, because they learned some, whatever they learned came up in that discussion. Because going into that discussion... I mean, it was not supposed to be like this. Um, I feel like that somebody was like overwhelmed by fears and uh, just uh, wasn't seeing clearly in the moment. Yeah. Yeah, for sure, because uh, the Nine of Swords is also here. So we have the Eight and the Nine. So this is fears that ha really did escalate. Um, maybe there's something they were unable to forget. Uh, something maybe they were carrying from the past. Or maybe this is just here to say that they are unable to forget how that meeting went, you know. they may feel guilty. That can be a guilty conscience for how that 
discussion uh, turned out. And their fears would have kind of <clears throat> nurtured these negative uh, thoughts and uh, brought this to a head, you know. At the, um, at the root of this, really, is uh, that this person wants to make up. They want to make a peace offering. Um, they want to explain um, I feel like uh, they they want or they want to talk uh, and they want to clear this up. Any emotional distress they may have caused you, uh, they wish to clear that up. See, there they are looking back at 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 the work that they done. And they left, uh, they left a situation unfinished. So clearly, really, this is really not over. What they thought, like it, it wasn't, uh, it wasn't what they thought, or or it wasn't how uh, it appeared in the moment, according to their what they were thinking, because of what they learned, you know. Um, it's possible that uh, they were given false information, the magician and the magician. So somebody, I feel, fed them false information and it, it kind of caused them to make this uh, very emotional decision at that meeting, um, which I feel... Uh, Something <clears throat> uh, ignited in um, in this person <clears throat> could have been a trigger. Um, uh, this person most likely was deceived in their past. Felt they were going to be deceived again, but it it wasn't it wasn't that it it, it was false information that either they believed. Uh, they saw be based on a past experience or that they were actually fed uh, <clears throat> given false information um, the past has a certain power over this person or had this power over the way that that they were thinking so they were really influenced this is a card of influence and they were influenced by um, by some emotions from the past here. They share a very deep connection with you. Um, adjustments are needed in the emotional in the emotions and they realize that because they, they carry this wisdom uh, with them when they return. Um, and so they need to, uh, they need to, um, they need to work on uh, some repressed emotions uh, that they are carrying. Which uh, was really... Uh, behind this uh, this uh, ending, the way things uh, went at that meeting. Oh, this person really uh, wishes uh, to come back for uh, for this commitment. Um, it ended badly, yes, but it's not over. Um, they realize what they almost lost and uh, 
from gaining wisdom from the past they've done an assessment of this they're they're gaining this wisdom from the past uh, in order to uh, in order to make the changes or adjustments necessary for the future because they realize what they just about lost here and they understand where it came from and in in getting this wisdom they now can restore uh, the order or feel like they can and feel like um, feel like they can uh, restore the peace this wisdom changes uh, gaining this wisdom is is the change uh, that will bring change to this to, to, to this situation it's like um, It's like they they understand now with the with the hermit. They've shed light on the problem. And so this man and this woman they're looking at each other and this man uh, he brings a uh, major change he realizes that he did not handle this well he has learned uh he has made the adjustments necessary with temperance see both her feet are in the water okay so uh these were some very deep uh emotions that they were carrying that were most likely causing the illusion that uh, something uh, wasn't as it appeared, you know, that uh, somebody was going to uh, deceive you or deceive them. So, uh, in recognizing where it came from, in making the adjustments now to the emotions, uh, this person comes back and brings in this um, this change. They come back changed. They they will um, proceed more gently, softly going forward. They they now have a have changed their approach because they have a different view. You see, this is good news that's coming in. Um, and the bellows is a reignition. It's telling you that something that died, or at least appeared to be over, is about to reignite. And so, um, effort is being made on this person's part to, uh, to reignite this flame. And I believe uh, that uh, she wants this also. And the Two of Cups is in the upright. This is reconciliation. So be prepared. Uh, if, if, if this sounds like your story, this person comes back uh, in a completely different, it's almost like they're, they're completely different. Their mindset, their view, the way they're going to speak to you, uh, the way they're going to respond to you is all going to be different than what it was uh, before this uh, breakdown of communication happened between you. So, completely different uh, person 
comes back back around while they're the same but they're different yeah a different approach that is what I have for you I thank you for watching for liking and for sharing my videos and for subscribing also thank you to everyone who has sent in a donation it is greatly appreciated many blessings to all of you